hi guys welcome to mathematics in this video we want to solve for p in p raised to power 3 equals 6 raised to power p guys this may look simple but will you believe that 99 percent students fail this but however let's solve this together that's the solution our given equation is p raised to power 3 equals 6 raised to power p. So from here, what we need to do first is to introduce ln to both sides. So we have ln p raised to power 3 equals ln 6 raised to power p. However, recall that if we have ln m raised to power n, this is equals n lin m. Right, so applying this to this, we will have 3 lin p equals p lin 6. What we are going to do here is we have to divide both sides by 3, then 3. Again, we want to cancel this. Let's divide both sides by p again, p. So we know here we have this, we cancel this. So we have lin p divided by p equals here we have this p cancel this. We have lin 6 divided by 3. All right. However, for this, let's note that from the law of indices, 1 divided by m raised to power n is equal to m raised to power minus n. This is a negative index of law of indices so applying this to this we have this we becomes lin p multiplied by p raised to power minus one equals lin six divided by three all right so however you know that if you have exponential lin p raised to power minus one this is p raised to power minus one why is because this exponential we can't do this lane so now we will have lin p multiplied by this p raised to power minus one will be replaced by with this exponential lin p raised to power minus one equals lin six divided by three i hope you are with me so now the next step now is we will have lin p multiplied by exponential minus lin p equals lin 6 divided by 3. So here now as we look it we are going to apply the Lampard function so where the base and the power must be the same. Look at here and look at here. We have minus here so that means that we have to have minus here so, and to have it here, we have to multiply it throughout by minus 1. So, if you multiply it throughout by minus 1, we have minus 1 multiplied by lin p times exponential minus lin p. All right? Equals minus 1 times lin 6 divided by 3. So, now we will have minus lin p exponential minus lin p you can now see the base and the power are now the same so we have minus lin 6 divided by 3 all right so here we should note that m equals n exponential n right so that's when we see the number function of m equals the Lampard function of n exponential n, so which is equals n. So the same will apply to this. If you have the Lampard function of minus lin p exponential minus lin p, this will be equals to the Lampard function of minus lin six divided by thirty. So applying this here we will have minus lin p 
equals the Lampant function of minus 26 divided by 3. We should know that we want to find p, so that means that we have to multiply both sides by minus 1. So if we multiply both sides by minus 1, we have minus 1 multiplied by minus in p equals minus 1 times the Lampant function of minus in 6 divided by 3. What we are going to have now is lim p equals minus the Lampant function of minus 26 divided by 3. So now we will take the exponent of both sides. If we take the exponential of both sides, we have exponential lim p equals exponential minus the Lampant function of minus 26 divided by 3. So here we will have this exponential can do this line. So we will have p equals exponential minus the Lampant function of minus 26 divided by 3. So we'll recall that I said earlier that if you have the Lampant function of n exponential n, this is equals to n. And this is equals to the Lampant function of n multiplied by exponential the Lampant function of n. So this implies that if you make this the same formula, we are going to have uh, exponential the Lampant function of n equals n divided by the Lampant function of n. So therefore, this will become p equals 1 divided by the Lampant function minus then 6 divided by 3, then divided by the Lampant function of minus then 6 divided by 3. So from here now, we have p to be equals minus the Lampant function of minus then 6 divided by 3 divided by Length 6 divided by 3. And this is equals minus 3. The Lampant function of minus length 6 divided by 3 divided by length 6. Guys, this is our final answer. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Can you like and leave a comment? And don't forget to share with your friend and network. Do also subscribe to my channel to stay updated on my next video. Bye.